the DNC is happening downtown Chicago where my job is and so I would typically be in the office right now but we were given the okay to work from home this week to avoid going down there. I usually work, I work hybridly anyway so I usually work from home on Mondays and Fridays but um, it's been just like really nice working mostly from home this week. Something that I also started to do was I started to get up early. I tend to have most of my clients in the evening, so I'll work a schedule from like 10 to 6 or 11 to 7, even when I go in the office. And so I will get up a little bit later, like I won't wake up until 8 or 9 because I don't have to be in the office until 10 or 11. Um, we just are required to work eight hours with my full-time job. We're not required to work nine to five. You can work 10 to six, you can work 11 to seven. It just has to be eight hours. Um, and three days or 24 hours worth of hours in the office. Um, so I noticed that because I just started like getting up later in the day and I am quite the insomniac and so like if I don't get in a routine to force myself to get into bed really early I will stay up so I would end up being up pretty much all night and then sleeping in and then feeling like anxious and chaotic throughout the day and so I started to um get up earlier I just had to face the reality that the older I get, the earlier I kind of need to get up. Like I'm at a point in my life where I have so much to do throughout the day that it is almost self-sabotaging to get up late and then start the day off with chaotic, anxious energy because I didn't have the time and the capacity to like ease into my day. And so I started to get up earlier so that I can ease into my day. And it has been life-changing, literally. It has been life changing. Like now when I work from home, I'm like, I don't need to just give myself an hour before my first session of the day. I can get up and have a couple hours and like do my own thing before I need to start work. Like I've been able to get up and straighten up and clean baby's litter box and make sure she has food and water and take my time doing that because I do it anyway but it's like I don't have to rush and I can get myself food and make myself coffee and get my water for the day bathe and put on my whatever clothes I'm going to wear that day um and like scroll the internet like whatever like just have an easy going morning and then that sets the tone literally for the rest of the day. As someone who has insomnia and also struggles with like depression, anxiety, like it's very difficult to have a pretty decent sleep schedule. Honestly, like this is taking a lot of intention, but getting into it as a routine has just been, I feel like extremely rewarding. So yeah, I did get up early again today. And then my first session of the day was actually at 11 o'clock, but then that client had to cancel because they have a a uh, job interview so i was just up and able to just kind of like ease into the day i got up i swept the floor i cleaned Benji's litter box i got her food and water i straightened up a little bit um and straighten up really just consists of sweeping and like getting the cat hair off the couch because Benji owns this place and like even though I do it before I go to bed by the time I wake up it still needs to be the floor needs to be swept again and I need to get the the um, cat hair off the couch because it's where Benji is um so if you you know for folks who come to my place if you don't like cats or you're allergic I'm so sorry because my cat is all through my home and i keep it clean I do I, I clean the cat hair as much as I possibly can but you know <laughs> I have a shedding cat so anyway yeah I was just able to like ease into the day and like light my candles and watch my YouTube videos like it's just been great 
I love working from home, <laughs> especially with forcing myself to be on, have more of a routine when I'm at home. And I'm waking up early even on the weekends. Like even on the weekends, if I'm sleeping in, it's no later than nine o'clock. So that may be late for early risers, but as someone who is not an early riser, and getting in the routine of being more of an early riser, nine o'clock on the weekend is good. And eight o'clock on a weekday is good. <laughs> so yeah, I I just wanted to talk about that. But anyway, I'm going to, I'm waiting on my DoorDash because I did order lunch. I ordered like Buena Beef. I've never had Buena Beef and my, my father brought it up um the other day I was like have you ever had Buena and I was like no he was like it's really good because <laughs> I guess he had got it for lunch that week or something he was like yeah it's like really good it's like similar to Portillo's but it's cheaper and I was like oh okay well I'll give it a try so I ordered Buena beef and when you order from DoorDash you can order from like multiple places at the same time like when you place an order they allow you a certain amount of time to add another order without having to pay the additional delivery fee so I also ordered like a chai tea latte from some coffee place. So anyway, let's try, I'm, I, I kind of want to start to put the, put the, I think I should because I do have uh, afternoon sessions, it, but it's still early. It's not even noon. It's so crazy to like not be rushing throughout the day. So yeah, I guess I'll try to, um, see how I want to put these prints up. I'm gonna try to use paper and test it out. I'm gonna say hi. Say hi. Someone asked on one of my YouTube videos um not too long ago they texted me was like where is the cat? <laughs> I was like she's doing it so I wanted to update on the wall to core so I did add this. Um, I made it on Canva and with like some Google images. So don't sue me, whoever the original artist of some of that shit is. <laughs> but I mainly just put, it looks pretty simple. Like I add a background and then I use two different like Basquiat um, silhouettes and put it together and then the background like the same old lettering and all that stuff I just got from somewhere got from Google as well and then I just kind of like removed the backgrounds to everything and put it together so did I make this from scratch no but I put it together with Canva and made my own wall art I also added two more of these fruit images like I had um I had did like a poll on Instagram and people are like, yeah, add some more. So I love those. Those are really cute. Now, hi, Benji. Hello. I still have to put these up in the hall on this wall. And I've been hesitating because I'm really nervous. Like, I don't know if I want to put them straight or if I want to put them like two by two. And I'm scared to hate it because I don't want to put extra holes on the walls and I really love these prints so I'm gonna try to do like use paper <laughs> and see like how I possibly want it so to see the vision I don't know I don't know if I want them side by side or four by four do the four by four and I'm downloading like a laser app to make sure I put the nails in the right place <laughs> Okay, so the laser app was not what I expected, so we're going to make it. We're just going to read it. I'm just going to use this pencil and we're done. 
gosh, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> but I was seeing that it's pretty good. Okay, so I um, added these mirrors. Um, hello. <laughs> I got these from Marshalls and I really liked it them because this gave me like gold bamboo earring from a beauty supply vibes. I was like, I love it. So I got two of these and I got this one and I added these. I had asked on my Instagram like, what do folks think? I should add to the wall i was originally going to add more prints and then one of my mutuals was like you should add mirrors and so i found these at marshall's and i was able to put them up here with just like a small nail and some um stickies for reinforcement i absolutely love it it turned out great <laughs> 